Hello. I hooked up the ultrasonics to the head eye thing the LMR bought. Finally got it working after a lot of coding and soldering mishaps and pin assignment mishaps. You understand, yes? I don't know if you can see. I got it gimbaled uh, or the linkages uh, set up the same as the other. Pivots here, pivots here, holes in the back, single servo, yes. Anyways, enough talk. Finally got it to work. Let's want to track my legs. Good morning. Those plants over there seem to reflect pretty well, better than my clothed hands. Regardless of that, they're still following me around. Oh no, see the barbecue. It's over there. Excuse my bike and barbecue, it's all over. It locks on. There we go. Come to daddy. Look at that. Yeah, I'd like to thank Oddbot for giving me uh, some basic code to go off of. I'm using his same, essentially the same algorithm he used with these sharp infrared distance sensors. Uh, slightly different to read pulse width reading off the Max Botic Easy Force. But, uh, yeah. It's brilliant. Wow. Smooth object tracking, but not fast object tracking. Oh, it's working. It's working. Also, if it sees that planter, it'll lock onto that too. Despite the EZ4 ultrasonic sensors being the narrowest beam, the beam is still considerable. Uh, maybe 15 degrees off center either way. And uh, as you can see, the spread is pretty good to keep me centered. Have each one find its edge. So, a lot of side noise can be picked up, but all the same, works pretty good. Again, thanks, Oddbot. You inspired me. Oddbot. It's not Oddbot. Mint belt. Odd bot. How dare I? Although an excellent contributor to my general knowledge base. Mint belt. Mint belt. Mint belt. Mint belt is the one who developed the smooth tracking system. They're checking out my legs. Ah, oh, it's so good. Five degrees. Forty-five degrees. Oh, I see the barbecue too. I think it's time to eat. Time to eat. Yes. 